And hello, hello guys, and girls, and anyone, <laughs> and cats. Uh, I'm here for a new cast. I'm really happy. I had, uh, I didn't find the time to upload a new cast recently, but uh, finally, finally, I find the time for it. And I think that I found a pretty tasty replay. Uh, that we will discover right now with a player that I haven't casted yet but he's like the, um, the new baby of the community <laughs> yeah so he's a uh, Cybran and he's part of uh, a very cool clan called Old School Clan he's called Mr. Smith and he will face Zoki our dear Zoki, always a good example to follow. So, what I didn't tell you before, it's cool. Epic map, Rigor. Rigor, so yeah. It's Rigor, one of the two new maps of the Ranked Pool. And they look so beautiful, but not only beautiful, they look strategic. You can see there are some key points with water, and some expansions, and some civilians. So, all we love to see. So, for this one I will be in Smith's view, and what's really interesting is that uh, when you have a new map like that, the players ex they experiment some stuff before and watch each other's, oh, this friend, he tried to do a fast air, it didn't work at all, so I won't try it. This one, he didn't upgrade a single max extractor and he managed to win. I will copy, copy his build order. Uh, so don't copy this. <laughs> First mistake from Smith. He had a uh, few seconds without doing anything uh, with his ACU. So as I said, Smith he, he's a, a player way less experimented than Zuck. And uh, also no, he doesn't have the level of Zuck. But he has a very good uh, macro so he's able to to build a solid economy that's why i think bigger is the map and better he is but so if he plays on a 5x5 five five kilometers map he probably has no chance against the kizak but this one is a 10x10 10 10, and as i just said it's a new map so i think they both discover the map second air uh, I don't... Oh, he has to, to focus a little more. Yeah. So he's doing a second air, but with only the Hydro, which means with only 120 ma uh, energy income, it's not enough to produce interceptors. So, yeah, you can see. Fake build order. <sighs> yeah. And after, he's planning. Yeah. So he's checking the rocks. I hope he knows that there are civilians here, otherwise it will be poo, a little surprise. But yeah, first he checked, you have some rocks here. And I think, yeah, the best way to play this map, oh, that, that, that's a bad start. A lot of... Uh, he has too much mass and not enough energy, so that's not very good. He doesn't have... He doesn't have Mantis to do any red. So for it looks to be quite a defensive uh, start, and he will send first interceptor on Scoot. Okay, so here Zuck is already he uh, he's already on place, so he knows what's coming. And here maybe it's a bomber, probably. Yeah, just trying to dodge. Excellent, you saw excellent dodge, but he sent interceptor on the opposite of the map. So he. W w He's about to have a new one, but he's a mm, careful the rally points. Okay, it will hurt. Ah, two engines, <laughs> two engines. It's already cost effective for Zuck. So, what I wanted to say is that it's good to send one engineer and also the ICU on this side of the map because this side it's harder to send reinforcements because there's water, except if you are ion, of course, you, <laughs> you don't care. But, yeah, so he's put in the engineers. You can see, the, he's looking for the expansion engineers. So probably that he will uh, try to attack this one. And you can see, 
maybe it's a mantis or lab. This is good, it's so strong. He has to, to kill it quite fast because no, he probably already selected the the bomber. Ah bah, yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. That's why you want to send the ACU because if you send two NGs you can lose these expansions way faster. But it's still sad to lose uh the the engineer he maybe could build this factory on front. So for the moment, reclaim. No units. X whoa 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 four kills. No 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 <laughs> Yeah that's painful to have this kind of uh, to have this kind of start. We will be very very uh focused on when oof oof you can see Ah la bomber fiesta <laughs> from both sides. Did he hurt some more? Yes, two more here. <gasps> yeah, both players lost a lot of engineers. So it's still tied. As as both receive the same damages, no one really has an advantage. Mm, I think when he will uh, grab the, this uh, forest, he will have a bit uh, energy income but he's wasting a lot because we are only at 5 minutes game wasting 200 it's too much so maybe that's a timing to launch a tech to max which costs also some energy or to increase the build capacity of air <laughs> another scoot Zox has a very good uh, VZ of the map that's a bomber here I would say yeah, it's a bomber. You can recognize it with the speed. It's slower than uh, than interceptor, and he will go for this engineer who's trying to protect all this side. So it's, I think that's an excellent map because it's both. You can secure some key points, but it's still an opened map, so the ratings will work effectively. Uh, so there's some rocks. Air supremacy in favor of Zuck. Bam. The, so he, he doesn't waste any time to to use it. He's do it. Oh, okay. So he wants to take that's a technique, I don't use it, but it allows to you can uh, put always the same amount of engineers on your upgrades of extractors. And one by one. So it's like he doesn't want to to focus on the max upgrades, so he's doing this, and in ten minutes he will have his four tech to maxes at the same speed, but he doesn't have to pay attention to those anymore. So that's some long term uh, clicks, and everything you do now, you won't have to do it later when you will be busy microing some other stuff. Mm, that I think he needs a Commander better radar visio. So here, as you saw, it's already very good to have the ACU. Four or uh, kills, that's a lot. So yeah, I will try to focus on how we spell this unit. <laughs> because uh, a lot of people laughed uh, uh, of me uh, in the previous video. Uh, that's uh, the, yeah, the French accent didn't help me for this, but I will try to say scout. <laughs> sc scouting. <laughs> I think it's less worse. but. Uh, Probably I still have some improvements to do. Another radar, uh, another bomber. I he didn't see it. It was during few seconds. Uh, here it's a very good scout <laughs> because he used the stealth. Unless oh now there's a radar, so he still sees it. But before he could see it, and it's not that expensive. Yeah, yeah, good job, good job. You have to be everywhere. And with radars, it's way easier to be everywhere. Look at the radar coverage for now, it's not enough. But in terms of map control, it's okay. Except he lost this expansion. The transport, so... Yeah, this makes painful, but you can't have it uh, by walking. You have to drop. Same for those free ones. And this hydro, no, I think this hydro you can have access with water. So yeah, the, the map author, map of four, oh. <laughs> the, the one who made this map. <laughs> okay, so he's scooting, and he will drop here because there are PDs, and he's about to lose his scouts. Scouts, sorry. 
Yeah. So here he is giving you units to Zuck, that's kind, you can see some mass. It's hard to be everywhere, but uh, however, as long as you have half of the map control, you can't say you're really behind. <laughs> and when I was saying you can uh, regulate uh, your build power on the upgrade of Maxis, I didn't think I would see this, but well, as I said, he's a player who rely a lot on his macro. So <laughs> he wants a lot of tech to make this. Why not? Why not? Especially against an ion who has only slow tanks. And as you can see, uh, Zuck looks to be a, l a lot more involved on uh, air supremacy. So, oh, and he has scouted. No tech to max from Zuck. Those one are tech to taken. Ah! <laughs> you know what it means? Yeah, that uh, he didn't scoot. Sc <laughs> he didn't uh, check anything uh, before, and then the civilians killed his engineer. But now he, he probably has the information, so he should have it quite soon. The PD is not finished, and this one wasn't finished either, so a, a little bit of end success. I think it's kind of a, a thing we have to talk about to transport here, but the to be successful or not in your strategy. And there's no luck on subcom. It's 100% about what you do and what your enemy do. But you, ha you can have more or less success. Like, you can go blind on a strategy and hope that your opponent will have not the best counter to your strategy. Sometimes it will work without any scouting or anything else. But some other days, you will try the same stuff and it's not luck, but your strategy won't work. So here, you can see this kind of example about the half done PDs two times in a row. It's some kind of unsuccess. And that's why we often see players saying, oh, today uh, I lost everything, uh, <laughs> I couldn't win a single game. That's what we could say, and success. So let's be back to the game during this time. So the tech 2 max addicted stopped <laughs> the run at 3 tech 2 maxes because he saw the tech 2 land, especially the choice of blaze. As we saw in the previous video, you know now, you, you learned your lesson, why did Zuck use blaze? to balance the fact that Aurora is very slow. So he wants a fast unit, so he's using the blaze for this reason. A uh, little run by, that's always good. You can see he's about to get his tech to P gen, but uh, he starts to be worrying. Still no tech to max from Zox. Zox, <laughs> a new, new name. Yeah, I'm a little exhausted, so uh, I could have a lot of fails in the cast today, but I'm sure you will forgive me. For this reason, he stopped the max production, the max upgrading. Why? Because he already has an advantage. But if he increases this advantage too much, he has a risk to not have enough units. When you know that you have an advantage on economy or in size of the army, you have to pay attention to keep this advantage, but you don't need to to continue to increase this advantage except if you are sure that it won't cause any risks on the other uh, aspects of the game. So you can see he was a little late in technology, but a li little in advance in economy. So he tried to balance this and to, to get back he, his, uh, his tech with Wagner's. Why? Because with this kind of water, you can probably do some very cool stuff with Wagner's. I would like to see a flak because he really doesn't have any. Uh, will he overcharge this? Yes, good job. You see the run buys with with uh, blaze are very good. One here, one here, <laughs> more than one here. It was a drop, and it's oh my god, it's obsidian. That's very big problem. You can see it can kill tech to max his very fast. So he's starting some. 
point defenses. Two Wagners, it will be a slaughter, I think. I'm really worried. He's about to lose. I think it's game. Uh, I think it's game over. <laughs> he, he will never kill those. Look, the PD will die. The PD will die. Oh, yes, he died. And then he will kill the Wagners, even the Rhinos. They will not be built fast enough. That was a very good drop. Because Zok knew that he had cancelled this expansion. He has, pr it's probably a scout, scout here. He's withdrawing all his army, but still it will be too late. He lost all his economy. He has some mass. <laughs> I don't even know how. But he has some mass. He killed only one obsidian for now. Okay, a second one. But look at the damages. That's huge. And maybe he will check. When you, in the place of Zuck, you have to focus the, uh, the energy storage. <laughs> because it will kill a lot of other uh, pigeons. And still, even if he loses those, he killed so many Wagners. So, in this horrible situation, Smith is doing the less worse he can do. It means rebuilding as fast as possible the Maxis. Because if you order to reclaim, you can see he lost already two, two racks. So he will have to rebuild those two uh, very fast. You can see this retarded engineer. <laughs> yeah. Mm, so this ESU is here. Tech 2 air as expected because he finished his Tech 2 pigeon. And one Tech 2 max. So you see how everything can be reversed in few minutes. So okay, he's rebuilding his Tech 2 maxes, sure. He, he, he <laughs> more tech to max is here. He just lost half of his base. I don't care. I don't need an army. Okay, so rhinos. If there's only blaze, rhinos will be excellent because the DPS is very different. Oof, that's a drop. And that's probably the same obsidian drop. Oh, that costs a lot. That costs a lot. Yeah. So good job on this point because killing. Six obsidians on two transports for free. I would say, in terms of mass, it's more or less what he just lost in his base. So okay, he has some mass problem, but he really need <laughs> to catch this drop to come back in the game. And that's also interesting. You can see that Zok is fluctuating. Like he, Zok knew he had the advantage, so he tried to push his advantage a little further by trying a ballsy drop which failed actually but which could have ended the game right now so the ACU underwater uh, Mr. Smith he has the reputation to send his ACU quite often to death <laughs> when he has won the game but okay he's going for tech 2 pigeon he finally have back yeah that's a lot of mass here has to, to re to reclaim those quite fast. And he has, and that's very important, some tech 2 factories on the front. It's very important to keep the map control and to save his expansions. Uh, I don't know what this attempt of air will give. He wants to focus the gunships to protect his. Uh, that's Rhinos, right, so it's very slow. The problem is that there's swift twins here, so he will probably lose all his planes. But if let's see if he can make some damages. But Zuck is reacting on time with a PD here, and as you may know, R Rhino is horrible against PD with walls, as it's a laser, it will shoot in the wall. But l for now, it's not finished. Okay, it's finished actually. Yeah, you can see. That's why Rhinos is very good with Medusa, is that if you don't add Medusa to your Rhino spam, you will never be able to kill a, a single PD. So, what do we see here? Still one tech to max, so a very uh, engaging uh, strategy, because he added three over tech to air factories. So, he just won air, and he has a lot of build power on there, so 
in Smith view, the problem is that you will receive a lot of gunships in your face in a very short time. So he's trying to rebuild his expansions. But, so free factories, lot of engines. He is also having a second uh, pigeon. That's a very weird game because Zuck really doesn't want to push economy. And I did he add? He still doesn't have this expansion, so that's a very good point of Smith. That's the kind of mistake that ah, you can see he's, he's having it with some Medusa. <laughs> Medusa are killing the. But he is having those very late. And here we have some tech to make his on the way. So all in all, Smith made we could say the punching ball. Like he absorbed the attacks of Zuck, but each time he was receiving the mass. So he has a better economy. He rebuilt all the tech to make his, he's having the storage around. He's having a big rhino production with on the map I think three with this one, three tech to factories plus the HQ. The flag, I saw a flag, yeah, it's here. I don't know if it will be enough. Depends if Zuck will focus it or not. But you really don't want to, to lose the, your gunships when you have a low economy uh, strategy like Zuck had. Tech to radar, so yeah, that's funny because Zuck has some really expensive stuff, but very slow, very low mass income. Second tech to make this just now when Smith has six, seven. Yeah, I still can count. Seven tech to make this. So what to do now? Flax, sure, but it's for a short term strategy. You you won't be able to secure all your map control only with flax. So that's pretty scary. The good thing is to focus the little out of position gunships. You won't have air anyway. Also you can try some tricks by withdrawing your planes to the flex. Uh, that's a strategy that I often try on. When you don't know how to to micro air very well, I have this problem a lot. So I made I make some tricks to, to balance the fact that uh, I don't have a good air micro. So Zach's doing good. He's sending one gunship here, but the anti-air should be ready on time. If there's only one, it should be stopped quite easily. There's a lot here. It's not there's a not a lot of defense, but pre tech to maxes you can't afford to lose it. Bam, one over down or not. Okay, so the flags are here, so he is more or less about to rebuild those maxes. Here the tech to factory makes it quite safe. Now there are three flags. Mm. We are reaching a state of a game where it's stabilized and both players should echo more if they want to continue the game because they can't win. Zog can't win with his gunships right now because now there are too many flags on the field. But in the other direction, Smith can't win because he had to produce those flags, so he's not able anymore to launch a big attack on his base or on his ACU. Also, I don't suggest anyone to try to kill ACUs on this map, except if it's ob obvious, of course, because most of the time the ACU, I would say, will, will stay close to water points, so they can uh, reach it quite easily. Okay, you send the flags to protect the maxes. He has a lot of Mass in bank. So let's see what will be his choice. It's tech to air. It's quite interesting. Oh, seven rhinos. You want? You really want those on? Okay. And as I said earlier, like the relying a lot on tech to air. As I own, it's normal. It's very strong strategies. And now free on here, it won't be enough. Zuck knew that there were three tech to maxes to kill here. So. Let's do it, let's kill those. He should have... I think it was a good reason to pass this factory in tech 2 and produce flax here, because there were too much to defend. And that's a lot of planes who will fall on the floor. Or out of the floor. In the darkness out of the map. Yeah. 
I always tried to drop here, it never worked. Too bad. So when I just said the game was about to stabilize and everyone would echo quietly, the opposite happened. <laughs> well, Zog echoed, but in the meantime he launched a big attack. The build power is increasing for air. Oh. Take free air! Okay. Okay. That's a very unusual strategy, but he has a big of a bit of income. Will he try to go for... Okay, he has a tech to ACU. He could try with this uh, waste of energy to go for the resource allocation upgrade. But he will try tech free air without it. It still works. It's like the, the old style. And seeing... It's not an all-in. But seeing all the air that Zog had, it's not such a bad solution. He's launching an attack here, but the PD... Yeah. You can see, PD is, is defending the factory, but Obsidians are defending the PD, so all in all, yeah, the PD will die, but the expansion of Zog should be saved, especially with air. Be careful, they are still back to flux, which could deal a lot, lot of damages. During all this time, you can see the economy of Leaf is still very good. Okay, so that's the weirdest thing ever I have ever... Okay, he <laughs> realized it. When you go tech free air, it's not to produce tech 1 interceptors. <laughs> uh, tech 1 transport, okay. Okay, okay. But does he have a tech free NG? No, only tech 2. So... He just lost this expansion. Ah, that's quite scary. Because I wouldn't be surprised to see a tech free uh, land quite soon for Zok. So I don't I don't really know. He has a lot of build power, but he needs all a tech free mix or Okay, that's the source allocation upgrade. So that that's the most convenient way to reach uh, a big energy production. So he will reach 6,000 energy income, which allows, definitely allows, to to build a lot of tech free air. However, he has to do it quite fast. Transport was okay. So he's sending. And that's a good point, a tech 2 engineer and some tech 1 engineers. Why? To directly rebuild those on tech 2. Like I said earlier, it's way more interesting in terms of mass to rebuild those. Uh, no. No, you have to reclaim those, then rebuild those for the most uh, cost effective way. If you want to win the most of mass, uh, it doesn't mean anything, you have to do it. However, Remember the other important resource of the game, the time. So the time to rebuild those will be way better if you don't reclaim a tech to max. So for this reason, it's very balanced. And what those cute flags? Okay, hello, I drop you some friends. Yeah, very important expansions because it's one of the only expansions of the map which is very... It's supposed to be easy to defend. Okay, so he's sending his planes, I don't really know why, but he's scouting, yeah! And that's good, as we saw, the tech free land is just started now, but with this production... Okay, we will see how tech free air will do the job, but it's very unusual to see tech free air before tech free land on a 10 per 10 map like that. However, we saw uh, that Zog pushed tech 3 are so hard, tech 2 are so hard that maybe it's a good solution. But it's like you have to think what will happen in 10 minutes or just in 3 minutes. In 3 minutes, you will have to stop some harbingers. So here it should not be too hard because the ACU is here and he will probably build directly those maxes on tech 2. No, on tech one. Thank you, Smith. So I'm wrong. <laughs> Thanks to you. 
on here how many obsidians we won't know but I think there's enough to defend 14 rhinos, 7 wagners but as I said it earlier he Smith is really not trying any kind of attack he's just trying to defend as much as he can because as long as he doesn't have air he really can't do any defense a super tech free scout but I'm still worried he will have to produce a lot of those before uh, reaching a stronger economy and still no tech free no tech free land planned when you have quite an okay income like near to 1000 ok there's a lot of flex he tried the snipe of the ICU but he already lost half of this flex very quick reaction with the ASF ASF for those who don't know it's the tech free interceptor to build a little shield because it's cool and yeah every thing here happened very fast but he had free flex because he built a tech 2 factory here if he had only one flag maybe he could lose the game it was about 15 gunships 15 gunships it can kill 1300 HPs very fast so for the time he needed to focus the far flags it was the time to send the ASF also those four flags killed maybe half of the gunships Oh, that's a beautiful fight all those lasers but what you have to remember from this fight is that the, all those little uh, racks will be reclaimed by Smith Zuck will never be able to reclaim those so that's a lot of mass that Zuck is giving it's unusual from him most of the time he really thinks of this aspect of the game before launching an attack and he's sending those here oh, do you think it can uh Oh, maybe, maybe we found a secret way on rigor. Ah, yeah, it looks to work. So, hmm, you can fake some attacks. You think you can only protect... Uh, you, you think you can only attack through the water, but no. Maybe this way works. Yeah, on me. No, not, not this one. I so, obsidians still in the place. So, we know he's tech free air, but how much is he tech free air? Uh, tech free land, sorry. He upgraded one factory here, two factories here. But here, this one is still tech 2. And he reached tech free. So, he won't all in. The ICU, we are here, we check the upgrades. No upgrade! No resource allocation. No tech 2. <laughs> if the ICU is not tech 2, it means he's not tech free either. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> so, Zuck did very well by securing with Tech 2 Engineers this expansion, Tech 2 PDs, Shields, so he in invested a lot on the first Harbingers. That's something we can say about Zuck that I think he could launch some attack. He had a window of attack that he didn't use and that he missed. Look all this mass. And that's a free tech free max. And he's launching the tech free upgrade right now, but without too much build right now. 17 ASF, that's way enough to get Air Supremacy back. And he's launching like he was doing for the tech 2 maxes. He's doing the same for the tech free maxes. Look, when you have 3000 mass in storage. Thanks to this reclaim, you can do a lot of stuff. But those are bringer, they could hurt a lot. As I said, the window I was talking one minute ago is that maybe Zok could drop his first two or four Abringers and then drop those with the ten obsidians he had and with the combination of those two. First, it was making the tech free land cost effective as soon as possible mm, by the way after this uh, replay I will uh, talk about about this like uh, it looks so important the resource of time that your units 
you made those cost effective only where the, when they are dealing damages and you can extend this thing a lot but <laughs> I will stop talking about this because there's a lot of our bringers attacking at the moment and I'm very worried tech free land is not ready and tech two gunships tech free gunship maybe it's the solution but still <laughs> it's not Mr. Smith, I, it's Mr. Punching Ball. Like he he takes the shots in the face and he asks for more after, but always he's standing up after after the punch. So take one PDs, it will help. I will slow it down just to be checking how the damage is will be done. You can be first Zog split the Harbringers so they don't suffer from the damage of area of the tech two gunships of Cybron, okay? That's the first point. Then he split his forces. Two Harbringers are killing the tech two Maxis. During this time, another group is looking for the energy. Because you really want to kill the energy when your opponent is rushing tech three air like Smith did. So he found the tech two pigeons. Well, a part of those. So he will probably focus those as soon as possible, but still, look at the Harbringers, they are more or less split. It takes a long time to kill those. Some new ones are joining the Fiesta. And where is the Tech Free Gunships? Because that's the one who will have the big DPS. Okay. Focus of one Harbringer with Rhino on Tech Free Gunships. PDs are dead, that's quite annoying. He lost the tech to pigeons. Oh. Yeah, you can see Smith on score. <laughs> He's having a lot more mass income, but I don't know if he will. He will lose all his base. He will lose the tech free max. That's a big deal. I will take back normal speed. But he will lose the over tech to. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, you can see now it's no more split, so it's taking the the two shields are receiving the damages. When you don't split your tech free, indirectly you're doubling the DPS of the enemy gunships. So that's why it's very important. In a lot of situations, you have to split your units, your tech units, tech one units, where it's less important. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Well. For the second time, I, but this time for real, uh, I think it's game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> One shoot of Harbringer, or maybe two, to kill this HQ3 HQ. Okay. So he switched to tech free, tech free engines, but it's too late now. When you lose your economy, but on the first time he had not lost his build power, so he was able to rebuild very fast uh, his base, his mechs, his, his energy, everything. But now he lost his mass income, nearly all his energy income, thank you resource allocation upgrade, and that's the real strength of this upgrade, you can see here, this upgrade is probably the most interesting of the game. It's the upgrade of the comeback. I think at this point the comeback is not possible. Here he tries another attack, but <laughs> what's the point? What's the point? He has those tech two mixes, well defended. He has, thanks to this upgrade, still a minimum of a minimum of energy, not enough to run a tech free air factory. Well, actually, there's no build rate anymore. Ah, yeah. You really... <laughs> when you will play Mr. Smith, you will have to know that if you kill his maxes, <laughs> he won't even be annoyed, he will just rebuild those instantaneously. At the stage it was. Or even higher, he's directly rebuilding all of... Like, you killed me, take free maxes? I rebuild take free maxes, no problem. <laughs> but now that the moment that will count a lot, let's see how with this tech free air he can try an attempt of comeback. Very important point also those factories. He as I just said he lost all his build power he has to 
rebuild this as soon as possible. During this time, yeah, he tried to defend. Oh, look at the package of gunships which will die by only one flag. Now maybe it will get focused, or maybe the ISF will come. That's a very good point of last patch. You saw now the tech free gunship received a speed nerf, a uh, speed buff. And now you have three of those, and it's dealing a lot of damage. Yes, he's losing those tech free, those tech tech free factories. That's a lot. During this time, we have to check during one second what's going on on the side. He has a tech free pigeon here, but those factories are not tech free, so he doesn't have a huge. Uh, energy production and ISF production. He still has a lot of tech one maxes on the map. So oh, I think Zuck at this point had to to show to make a big push on the echo growing. Yeah, but he didn't do this during this time. He took back the ISF production, but <laughs> on the bomber production, we never know. This one, yeah, it will cost a lot of mass to rebuild this. I think the game would have been totally different if <laughs> two shots would have killed this tech free HQ. Because the tech free, the, all the tech had to start from the beginning. Except he still had the tech free uh, factory, air factory, but still, very different situation. So, no worries, Smith, very confident in his economy. He's rebuilding the Mexis. This time, I'm right, he's building those at Tech 2 directly because it was Tech 2 before. He still didn't. Okay, now. Look, that's a very. Ah, no. Okay, he focused. Because sometimes you can put a little attack order in an area and it will kill the units. So here, of course, those two will die. But after, you can plan a lot of different orders on different area. I can't show you here with the mouse. But. Uh, on big maps, when you don't have the l the time to to multitask everything, it's good to earn some time this way. So, pff, for key energy income, we will cheat two seconds and check the income of Zok, which is double. So, what does it mean? It means that in a really short time. Zog should have Air Supremacy one more time. But in a really different situation than before. Because this time, the 17 ISF, still the same 17 ISF. Yeah. Or tech free. Yeah, and he's losing some mass to rebuild, to repair the, the buildings. Look at this factory. The mass it costs. Although there were a lot and a lot of mass in the base, because uh, first he could reclaim his own base, and then he had like 10 Harbringers to reclaim. Okay, scouted from Zuck, so Zuck has the information. The Tech 1 Bombers, still useful, because it's killing Tech 2 radars. <laughs> Very expensive units. For the Harbringer, it will be a little bit harder. Here we have a lot of mass, so I hope that. Smith will see this and the first bricks will come but as you may know bricks it's not that good a lot against a lot of Harbingers but actually there's not a lot of Harbingers on the field because it's six oh ah no it's still alive okay I thought he had killed those two that's quite sad because he really yeah he had to come back to defend that now I remember but that's sad because he was about to do a lot of damages you can see they are half of HPs each. Okay, his energy is stabilized. And he's about to increase it with some tech free pigeons. He has back his tech free maxes. So it's a weird game. Look, Zuck is keeping on 1000 income. It's not that he's lazy, or maybe that's his. He has only one tech free max. It's like Zog had not planned at the beginning of this game that it will be an echo game. He thought it would be a timing push, like I go with a lot of air and I should be able to win the game on the stage of Tech 2 Air. He didn't. Well, he did a big amount of damage, but 
Yeah. <laughs> Smith, he doesn't die. <laughs> like, you, you can kill three times his base, he's still alive. So this tech free pigeon will help him a lot. He managed to get back some build power very fast. And he has a better economy than Zog that's incredible thanks to the mass he had in his base. And once again, he's not launching any attack. Ah, oh, it's like... <laughs> it's a turtle man, yeah. <laughs> Cybran turtle. But when you're able to keep or to rebuild each time a good economy like that, it works on... Look at the income he has! 10k mass. So after this tech to max, uh, tech to pigeon, he will probably be able to build some more cool stuff. Probably uh, more tech free bricks here. We have to keep an eye on the ICU. Don't forget. Oh, please reclaim those. Uh, reclaim those. Don't forget. You are against an ion, and at this stage, he can produce 15 mercies on boom, kill your ICU, game over. It can happen. That's why we have to be very careful. Uh, okay, I don't know how to double click anymore. That's true, it's very complicated. Ah, big problem, like he has 25% of the map control. So, one day, he will have to launch an attack. <laughs> because he can't win with all this map control. For now, he has still some reclaim. Now or later, or later he will realize it. But he has to try something, and he looks. It looks like he wants to rely heavily on air. Why not? It's a good choice. Okay. He's trying to scout, but Tech One scout didn't work because he placed an interceptor here. So sometimes it's good to get one or two interceptors on weird spots like this one. Most of the time it's to, to stop the drops, like uh, an enemy drop will pass this way and you will be lucky, this ISF will uh, erase it, kill it, on the rest of the plane, so let's see, okay, yeah, Zog definitely has air supremacy now, well not definitely, but he has an advantage, yes, all those are tech free, but he doesn't have an echo advantage, yeah. This one still take one, and so easy to defend. Th that's uh oh no no TMLs TMLs TMLs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, so he's building. Tech free mechs are still alive. Mm. Okay, so walls. <laughs> Can you just see what happened? Uh, it was coming from this way. Smith. Okay, <laughs> don't care. <laughs> He's the man that doesn't care to lose stuff in his base. Okay, so he's. No, oh, he doesn't want to scoot. Okay, he wants. The, the this thing is the same scout here since the beginning of the... Okay, so TMLs. That's the problem of a bad radar coverage. Drops here. I hope he will see it. No. And it's take free drop. You can see there's two units in each transport, so it's a harbinger drop. No, come on. Yeah, he will lose those maxis for sure. Yeah. Ah, that's bad. That's bad because uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's losing even more map control that he already have not. Yeah, and that's the very good point of Zuck. He deals the damages with those TMLs, which was big investment by the way. Huh? Five or six TML, it's very expensive. It it kills some tech free. <laughs> Is that a sneaky engineer? Like all his friends are wo hard working to build this one, but no, he prefers to re he prefers to reclaim it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he will simply rebuild those, and he used a good trick. 
when you rebuild uh, a tech free like a heavy mass uh, building like this one you can reclaim a little of the building not everything and then you use the advantage of repositioning the same building okay so gunship production I'm not really sure about this yeah so the control key the TMLs to reclaim those before he knew he would never be able to defend those so he control key those and he reclaim it that's a good point now we finally have tech free radar here so we can see a little bit more what's happening in the game the harbinger died but after doing their job so it's not a very good point <laughs> okay so I think it's the same mechanics than before but at the tech free stage like Smith will just send a tech free engineer and rebuild those directly at tech free like okay no problem Mm. So the incomes are still not that high. We are coming in the late game stage, but with low economy. From one player, because he never really wanted to take more, he wanted to to do some damages. Also, his energy starts to be very scary. Has a lot of uh, pigeons here. And on the opposite side, you have. A player that really want to reach some very big incomes, but he lost his base two two and a half times because of those TMLs. So yeah, he is not able to die, <laughs> but he's not able to win the game. So something will have to be done. But anyway, I think the T4 stage is oncoming, and I'm really glad of this because that's where everything will become even more interesting. <laughs> There's not a big rig spam, but as I okay, it's here, and it should hurt a lot. Yeah, w that's the advantage of uh, Omni Omni sensor. He sees what he will face. There's no, you can't hide things. You can't hide an army. Now Smith sees everything, and probably that Zok sees everything. I don't know if he has take free. Yes, he has it here. So. When you scout, scout, you have to check that your opponent has this building. It changes a lot. If he has an omni sensor, stop dropping, stop sending fewer and buys. It will be way harder to, to damage uh, enemy expansions with those. Okay, so good job. Good job. He attacked. Oh, since the beginning. This air factory is producing in the queue some scouts. With the same way, with the same ISF 10 minutes earlier. So I just would like to know how many kills this ASF has. Only 5, okay. Maybe it was a <laughs> lot more. Okay. No, you won't see <laughs> the side too long because we are focusing on Smith. Which has a very interesting style, we have to say. Well, of course, he, he still have a lot of ways to, to improve, and that's what's interesting I in this player. Like, he has some very strong points, like reaching some good economy. Transport full. Okay, here. So, he's rebuilding his expansions quite fast. This time, some anti are tech free so no fear of drops no fear of gunships because of the bigger range so he will rebuild those but once for all so that's good and you always rebuild your expansions he should have sent a transport here to reclaim you see there are some little points that smith can improve and that will make him way way stronger like for example checking the reclaim side if he works on this point will become even more stronger because his his uh, mass addicted you can see he really wants to upgrade maxes as soon as he can so if he check more the reclaim he will be even he will be stronger on his good points and where can smith improve as well well i would say 
in fighting for the map control. Like he's launching attacks sometimes, but he could harass a little more without too much of aggression. So he, you see, he's doing like he had the transports with engineers to go reclaim some sites, but he didn't defend it those. He doesn't know if he has or not air supremacy, and I think he doesn't have, and I think he knows that he doesn't have. Finally, Zok has the tech free maxes in his base. Finally, here he is doing some stuff, we don't know what it is, but probably that he planned to upgrade those after. And once you have so many bricks. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> okay, so he has like uh, a style of turtle, but he will play this style until the end. I won't attack you until the nuke <laughs> in a 1v1 ranked on a 10 per 10 kilometers map. But nuke it's a very risky play, very risky. So it's stealth, very good point. So it won't be detected. As I said, once your opponent has the Omni sensor, there's very few things you can hide it. But this building, the stealth generator, at 46 minutes game, it costs nothing. So you have to build, in my opinion, you have to build this everywhere. A stealth generator here, here, so he won't see when you build. Uh, when you will build an experimental, he won't be able to see the build power you affect on your tech free factories. So, the stealth generator, you have to use it as much as possible in late game. Okay, so let's see, he will lose few resources. Oh no, the tech free Sams are not ready yet. He's building tech 2, it's a little faster and has area of damages, but it won't be enough, I guess. The shield will die. Okay. Yes, it's dead. And you have to pay attention because if you don't micro your ISF during this time, oh oh, that's a trap. That's a trap. And yes, it's working. It's killing a lot of enemy ISF. He's rebuilding this one, and maybe the shield will manage to recover his energy. I don't know. But that's again some tech free maxes that are killed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, th that's a that's a very unusual replay. Yeah, so, but yeah, it takes a lot of time for this unit to kill a restorer with more than six thousand HP. So once for all, Smith lost. You can see he's scouting all the time, so that's good. But ah uh, yeah, GC here, GC. Okay, so thirty four stage is ready. Uh, I don't think that Zog scouted the nuke, which is, I would say, 25% done, which is already quite good. Finally, he will gain some expansions. But what's funny is that Zog didn't win for those upgrades of uh, Maxis, but he invested a lot of mass. Look at all those tech 2 PDs. Not very well paced, by the way. Check when you making tech to PDs. Don't build those when there's a rock in the same direction, in the same axis of. Okay, S nuke is cutted, but with all those tech to on tech free on tier, it should be very fine. He dropped here some flags which are helping as well. Okay. But he's losing, yeah, he lost these very important expansions. Yeah, after 48 minutes, I think that Zuck starts to break through, but I thought that he had breakthrough at the Tech 2 stage when he killed nearly all the base of Smith. Then the Harbringer attack, remember, I thought it was over as well. He's delaying his death, but if this nuke works, he can kill all the base and look at the tech free uh, tech free pigeons. They are not spread out one here, one here, one here. When you do this, it's way harder to hurt you with a nuke. Now the nuke can kill all the base in a row. We have to check the Colossus here. Is still not built, 
so the time is working for us. That's a survival. <laughs> it's a ranked game, but his Smith is playing it like a survivor. He will have some new transports. He will once more, uh, once again, try to recover those tech free expansions. And yeah, it's okay. The, um, the economy is well balanced. The question is 17 bricks. I think it stops the Galactic Colossus. But it has to be on the good place at the good moment. So if the GCI attack here, he has to get the 17 bricks here. Which means this troop of Harbringer will probably attack on this time. He also have 4 tech free gunships which is quite a big DPS. So actually I don't know. It's very risky to launch an attack now. That's what he's doing. We will see but he will only kill some PDs. There's no tech free mechs to kill here. He will not hurt the economy of Zerk. Here what is that? Tech to drop. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Maybe he will try to snipe the nuke, which is close to be ready. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he's having this one on tech free again. A lot of free claim with the restorer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this man is a robot. <laughs> he has to use those gunships to defend. It's very important because to have ringers, if he loses the nuke. Well, I don't want to say one more time game is over because actually it's still not. But he has to react. He. I know, I know what it is to play a 50 minutes game in a ranked game. You are exhausted at this point. You, you've been focusing on what you're doing since 50 minutes. And I know, I know. No. 4,000 HPs. Gunships are coming, but so late. Oh, it's not under the shield. It's not under the shield. So Nuke should survive. I check, because uh, during this time... Okay, so he killed 4 tech 1 maxes, clap clap, <laughs> and then go back home. Mm, please reclaim those racks. He really needs those. Nearly. Yeah. And the GC is here, so... That's... I think the key point of the game will... And the nuke is close to be ready. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think you can just check <laughs> your sensors. It won't cost as much as all those PDs, especially when a GC is coming on you. With this income, he doesn't have the time for a monkey lord. The nuke won't be ready on time if he's mass stalling. You can see all those PDs. He has to tab stop those. It won't do. It's so expensive. He doesn't realize it. Ninety percent. Yeah. He. Both player knows everything, except that Zuck doesn't know the percentage or the nuke. So I I, I don't think that uh, Smith can win this one. Except that the KSU is still in the middle of the base, so it can be locked by the engineers if the nuke is launched. Very dangerous. For the frequent ship, he has to launch those now. It, it's earning some time. They will die anyway. And he didn't pack his army. That's a big deal. And the ACU, the ACU has to be underwater. A drop here to reclaim. Yeah, he's recovering. Zok uh, has a good multitask here at the same time. Tech free gunships, we have to check those. Very important, but... Oh yes, yeah, the GC won't be in the back of the base on time. So the nuke... Or maybe Zok will try to snipe the nuke. He didn't even try to... Oh, see, he did here. Okay, but if he's assi assisting it, it means that it's not finished. But he starts to to move the ACU. 
we could see a base trade. Okay, so the gunships are attacking on the bricks. You see, that's what uh, that's what Smith had to do earlier. Yeah, and uh, look at how it will hurt the bricks. Okay, Nuke is coming here. So he had the choice. Do does he nuke the GC, which is very risky, or does he nuke the base? The base was a good choice, but of course, yes, you will escape on time. So he's delaying the fight. Like he withdraw the bricks, but with all the bringer on time, he can't win the fight anyway. He lost his gunships. Zok lost a lot to kill those, but he had to kill the gunships. And the pigeons are dying. And look at the area of damage; it's very huge. Okay. And he starts to focus the GC, but <laughs> not the way you want to focus the GC. <laughs> this rock, you will remember, next time you will play this map, Rigor. <sighs> Holy crap! <laughs> like two PDs. As I said, Smith might be very good on survival games. No. Game over. But Zuck has no more base. He has w one tech free max. He has the resource allocation. Upgrades, we saw it earlier. But oh, there's a tech to tech free pigeon here. Yeah, but it has nothing to kill the GC anyway. So yeah, <laughs> no way. Yeah, well played. Zox says that he has the game, and I think the strat bombers can end the game now by focusing the ACU. But there's still a lot of Sam, so you're still always a little bit worried. He's getting back some economy. Like, until the end, he will try what he can to win the game. But this time, nothing can stop the GC. So, I will pause one second. I think game is over. In Smith's situation, yeah, you have to think when watching the replay. So he had some cards in his hand, and Zog had some other cards. Like he had the card of the nuke, he had the card of the bricks, and I think at this point, maybe he had to go for. Well, the, I'm talking about the stupid strategies that sometimes make you win a game that you lost. Maybe laser ICU with a stealth uh, a stealth uh, generator in the transport and cross fingers to reach the ICU while nuking the base. Maybe. And while making a diversion here with uh, your ISF. He had no economy for a, a ninja ICU anyway, that was sure. But maybe he could try a laser ICU. Second stupid possibility you rush the monkey lord. 17 bricks plus. Uh, so yes, he will die here, he's not underwater. 17 bricks. It's like the emergency solution. When you have nothing more to lose, because if you play normally, you will lose the game anyway. What can you do? He had not the economy to build the Monkey Lord fast enough before the GC comes. So he had to control K some of his buildings. You control K some pigeons. Of course you don't control K the nuke, which is your last card. <laughs> you have to play. You control K everything and you put all your build power on a monkey rod. This maybe could stop the attack. And yeah, sometimes you have to kill, as we say in... in uh, as we say, uh, not in French actually, as we say nowhere, you, you have to, to kill one of your legs 
to be able to go further. It has no meaning except that if you kill half of your base just to find the mass where it is to build this monkey lord and that you can survive to this monkey lord. Yeah, actually I think the laser ICU had maybe one percent of working. But the monkey lord rush by destroying his own building before the fight, it had better chances to work. You kill your tech free factories, you kill some of your pigeons, not all of those, because you still have to finish the nuke and you still have to continue the game after. Second problem, the bombers. But in Smith's situation, he had a lot of air defenses and he had this we don't see anything at all. <laughs> Hello, beautiful uh, screen. But here, you remember there are some water. You put your AC underwater, it's safe. You still have the resource allocation upgrade, you still have some safe expansions. And imagine you destroy half of your base to get this monkey rod, and in the meantime, you kill the entire base of Zok. He probably has the resource allocation, yes he has, but look, he had the same problem, he lost all his build power. So he had the map control, nothing was closed, but it was the best move he could do, that uh, he didn't, but still, he, he did some excellent job by uh, surviving that long against Zuck, which is uh, the best player I'm currently playing. Uh, yeah, so I think the Monkey Lord was the solution. But very well played. And... Ah yeah, there was one last thing, but I forgot what it was. Yeah, anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this game. And uh, see you for another cast. I will try to do another one in two or three days. So see you, bye bye.